Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alhamdulillahirrahmanirrahim Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation is vast and magnificent and Allah the Almighty is the only one worthy of worship subhanahu wa ta'ala we praise him, we believe in him, we worship him and these are the pillars of Iman that's what every believer is called to, to do to worship their Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala and avoid shirk, avoid worshiping and ascribing partners to him subhanahu and along with that tawheed along with that ibadah to Allah Taala alone we have other duties as well we have to avoid uh, that which contradicts it, that which negates it, our sins and ma'asi and after shirk, one of, another one of the great and major sins is bid'ah is falling into innovation, religious innovation because religious innovation, whenever we try to do new types of ibadah it is if we are saying that what the Prophet Wasallam came with wasn't sufficient. As if to say that what he Salawatu Rabbi came with was 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 uh, nux, was nakus, was 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 uh, was not uh, sufficient, and that we have something new to contribute to the religion of Allah. A'udhu billah. A'udhu billah. We seek refuge in Allah from be, being one of the ignorant ones. Because this is in fact a type of ignorance. No matter how much someone claims knowledge, the test of their knowledge is are they practicing the Qur'an in accordance with the Qur'an? And are they practicing in accordance with the authentic sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Or are they practicing within their desires and with what they feel is good? And a prime example of this is those jama'at, those groups that violate the principles of Tawheed like Jama'at al-Ahbash, like the Shia, the Rafida Shia, who make takfir of the Sahaba, say the Sahaba are not Muslim, وَعَيَّاذِ مِلَّا مِنْ ذَلِكَ ضَلَالُ مُبِينٌ and other than them, many, any, anyone who says that we worship Allah until we get yaqeen and by yaqeen they mean that we no longer have to worship Allah A'udhu billah min dhalika because the Mufassireen ex- explain that yaqeen here it means death that we worship Allah until we die, until we're in the grave there is no such thing as you've gotten to such a level of in your iman you no longer have to pray to Allah you no longer have to make a dhikr of Allah that you become one with Allah all of these, all of this is zandaka all of this is batal all of this is kufr all of this is bid'ah mukaffara that which takes you out of the fold of Islam that takes you away from Allah and it takes you away from the sunnah of the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam so bid'ah as the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said kullu bid'atan dalala all religious innovation is misguided. And all the lala, and all bidah innovation is misguided. And all misguidance leads to the fire. So the believer is ordered to follow and not to make something new, as the Salaf used to say. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم